touching story this Valentine's Day on how a local hero wants to make a difference. We're talking about the homeless population and many who call the streets of Phoenix home are facing addiction. ABC 15's Patricio Espinosa has that story. On a Wednesday afternoon on Valentine's Day, Frank is helping his girlfriend. Both are addicts. Both are living on the streets. This is everything they own is right there in the shopping cart. If he leaves her, I mean, that's tough. Think about having a job, having a profession, having a home. Like, that's what, that's the human connection we're missing. Hey, my friend, you okay, brother? Yeah. According to a 2023 homeless report from the federal government, on a single day in Arizona, more than 14,000 human beings called the streets home. Many are addicts. Frank here has been out on the streets two to three years. In his heart, he wants to clean up. He wants to take the next step. But that is the challenge out here with many of those that suffer from addiction is how to go about it, how to find what comes next, where to get help. And that's why the resources need to come out here. Right now we're going to go down to downtown Mesa Pioneer Park. It's kind of one of our local parks where a lot of the, the transients, the, uh, those who are struggling with addiction will congregate. Brock is a retired Mesa police officer. Once an addict to opioids, he now runs the Fentanyl Project, a nonprofit helping addicts. This year alone, Brock says, at least 28 people overdosing literally came back to life because of the overdose reversal drug Narcan, which he distributes to addicts for free. What people understand is the pain, the pain, like for him to start, if he starts withdrawing, he needs, he's going to go get high. And that's I, no, no offense to him. It's just the cycle that we're in. But help or not, live on the street goes on. Tracy was getting some clothes today, but while many celebrate Valentine's Day, tonight, Tracy is back on the streets, alone, in need. Hey, thank you for the clothes, bro. It means a lot to me. Patricio Espinosa, ABC 15, Arizona. Patricio, thank you. The Fentanyl Project is looking for things like blankets and shoes. If you're able to help and would like to help, you can message the Fentanyl Project AZ on Instagram.